is a great day in the Hinton Road Show Kitchen. We've got some great lasagna here, homemade lasagna from Chef Robert Saluza, yes. City Duck Restaurant. And it expanded. After Something's it. with the oven. I don't know. It went in this way and it came out that <laughs> side. So we got to keep could. that oven. I, yeah, I know. I wish I could have that at my house. I want to uh, let folks know this is what it looks like before it goes in the before oven. Before it goes in the oven. Two layers. Two layers. And you top it off with aluminum foil that is sprayed with Pam. 300 for about 45 minutes right. to 50 minutes. Now, where did the ricotta cheese go? Right in the middle on the second layer. That oh, I put okay. In. All right. Uh -huh. So after the second layer, then you put more sauce and then more cheese. More cheese. In the oven. In the oven. Here's what and it looks like. this is what it looks like when it comes out. So that leads me to bring in Josh Ha, Joshua Ha, the food and beverage director over at City Duck and also a sommelier. Yeah. Yes. What would you pair this with? Uh, Chianti was my first thought. Ah. So, right, traditional Italian dish. Yeah. Let's go with a great Italian red wine. Um, I've picked three Chiantis today, the Da Vinci Chianti, uh, the Molini Chianti and the Gabbiano Chianti Classico. Mm. Uh, and sort of the way I describe Chianti is you have to understand the region it comes from. Um, do you know the, uh, the knee-high boots that Julia Roberts wore in Pretty Woman? Yeah, yeah of course. Right, pretty course. common. Yeah. So if you think about that, think about up near the knee on the front. That's the region of Tuscany in Italy. Oh, okay, all right. If, if you look at yeah. the map of Italy and yeah. you compare it to the boot, and yeah. it's right up there on that side. Uh, and within Tuscany is the region of Chianti. Oh, okay. All okay. right. Okay. Good visualization. I like yeah, that. And All that's right. where these two bottles come from. Mm -hmm. And then Chianti Classico is actually a sub-region within Chianti, which is even more specific to the growing region within the Chianti region. Ah. So, hence Chianti Classico. Okay. Very, very nice. So, these wines are widely available in the marketplace. And uh, I just think with the, uh, the bright um, berry flavors they have, raspberry, plums, uh, strawberries, um, that they just go so well with lasagna. Very mm -hmm. nice. Well, thank you for those suggestions. Sure. Really good ones. In the meantime, I want to talk about these sweet treats that you brought here into the studio. First of all, why did you do that? Well, our friends <laughs> at Plaza Bank, we do a lot of business with them. They brought this down for us to, to use for the holidays. It was a nice thing. And it, to show their talents, I mean, they're great. Uh, Mr. Freeman, when I called him, I said, well, thanks for this. I said, but, you know, it would have been nice for Thanksgiving. He said, Chef, they got one turkey you. They don't need another turkey. So that's, that's what he told me. I couldn't believe he said that. How could but somebody say that? But this is this is what yeah. they said, and this is really nice. This is their talents, and they're great. They're it great. looks wonderful. Yes. Really the lasagna the now, mm -hmm. this may look like a lot, but it's really not because if say you have a party and then the people don't show up, now what am I going to do with it? Put it in the refrigerator. Right. Let it harden. Mm -hmm. Then you can go ahead and cut it, wrap it in in. Uh, foil, put it in a Ziploc bag, put it in the freezer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Take it out as you need it. Now when you put it in the microwave, slice the top and then go down about maybe a half an inch. Right. The microwave will heat from the inside out and then the mozzarella cheese that's inside will close the slice that you put in there and you'll never know that it was reheated. Very nice. So you're saying that it is okay to uh, reheat it for another day Absolutely, and save it for another sure. day. It tastes just as good? It'll stay 30 days in the freezer if you cut pieces and you want to have it every night. You know. I would be surprised if it would last 30 days. Just you know, just saying. No, okay. don't do that with the wine. Yeah. You're going to have to finish the wine that day. <laughs> Another excuse to get rid of the wine. Just got to finish it. Once it's open, it's got to be finished. Right. I think we'll, we'll yeah. find somebody to, to do so. All right, well, we're going to help you slice it up if we can, yes. Chef uh -huh. Robert, and uh, yeah. maybe divvy up some because we definitely want to try it before the end of the show. Yes. Thank you guys for sure. coming on and sharing your recipe and uh, your wine selections with us.